first we got to make sure that we have all the requirements installed just open up that tab real quick or that link and this shows you all the versions we're going to need of which I should have all of those up to date but uh, we'll see if Jaren while he's shadowing me if he runs into any problems with that we can troubleshoot it here's a couple of links to installing those listed underneath so first thing we're gonna do is create our project directory um, I like to place mine in sites so I can just uh, I can just look under here I have sites I'll CD into that and I just have all my sites listed right there so I can create a new one you're just going to run make deer I'll name it jackalope io dash v 2.0 and then I'm going to cd into it so after we have our project file created we're just going to clone trellis we're just going to clone trellis into it so just copy this command down here and you can paste that exact one in there and then it's going to just remove the git file and then it's going to go into trellis worked cool now we need to install <coughs> the bindifs plugin. Let's just copy that command, paste it. Okay. Um, we don't. I don't believe we need the host updater anymore, so we're just gonna remove that step for now. Well, step five and we will install the host manager so just run that command to install the Ansible Galaxy package. Run that one. Okay. Now so did you get a purple line? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Now we're just going to back out of the trellis and install bedrock at the root of the project. Install bedrock at the root of the project, so just paste that next command. Now we're going to rename bedrock to site, so you can just run that next command. Okay. Now we're going to install Sage. Now we're going to install Sage. So copy that step 10 and run that. Should install Sage under themes. If you want to see how the file hierarchy looks, you can check out the roots example project. And now we need to configure bedrock. So in site config application, we're going to just do this in the Vim editor for right now. So we will do cd site web oops I 
sorry, site config, and then I'm going to run vim application.php. So now somewhere in the top here, I'll just go underneath uh, that second command right there. And then we're going to add this line right here. I can just open it up so you can copy it from this repo. Let's just copy line number five right there. Did you get it? Number five. Up. Okay. Go up to line number five. And we'll insert that in our Vim editor. Just paste it and then right quit out.